Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Roll Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be hopping into Blender and I'm going to show you guys how to make low poly graphs for your Roblox games to help decorate the maps, help them seem more alive and everything good like that. It's a very very simple simple process. We're going to delete this, press shift A and we are going to uh, we're going to use a cone. Uh, you can use anything you want, but I'm going to use a cone. Click this little button right here and make this three sides. This is my favorite kind of style for grass, but it is very, uh, you could go wherever you want with it, okay? You can make it have 50 million sides if you absolutely wanted to. Maybe, maybe not, but you know what? It'll work. Then we're gonna press tab to go into edit mode and go to this vertice select mode right here. Click on the top one and then these little arrow guys and just stretch it up okay make it make it a piece of grass all right loud and proud okay now we're gonna hold like over a vertice and press l that's gonna select our whole model press shift d perfect click to unselect and then just scale it down a little bit move it to the side uh i am gonna do a couple variations so one of them is gonna be all of them straight rotated only like this and the other one will have like some rotated grass so like um they won't all be pointing straight up but personally i definitely like the straight up look better than the rotated look all right now of course uh w when you get into like how things look and everything it's a very much opinion okay so you can do whatever you want with it and just have fun make it fit your game the best of your abilities if you have a blocky game you could make this like square grass you can literally do anything you want that's why i love 3d modeling and building maps it's just like bro you could do anything you want so all you got to do is rinse and repeat this process i usually do like five to six little pieces so i'm gonna click shift d bring this guy over here maybe put one like in the back somewhere like this and they don't have to touch each other it's just very very random how you do it i just want to make sure that none of them are like the same angle if that's making sense all right and then we can grab uh, this guy again, there we go, shift D, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, but not as small as the other ones over here, and this guy can come right out here, make sure we're kind of level with the ground to make it easier to place in the studio, and then, boom, and we're gonna give this guy a little bit of a rotation as well, to kind of just really, really fit our vibe, alright, uh, I don't want the straight sides, like, kind of matching, so maybe something like this would work out pretty well, yeah, there we go, and we're going to sink this down just a little bit more. So, this is our grass, guys. All right? And when you put it into studio, you could color it green. I wouldn't really recommend texturing grass because it's one of those models that you can just reuse over and over again. Uh, and just, you know, hey, it's a good day for everybody. Now, what we could do is grab this and press Shift D. All right? And we're going to drag one of them over. We're going to go back to this one. Boom. And if you wanted to, guys, you could leave the bottoms flat. Just go to this vertices select mode and just kind of like, you know, point them where you want them to be. Oh, I have an extra vertice. There we go. Uh, we're just going to go to the vertices select mode. Uh, we got to get rid of this guy. Let me, let me just delete that guy. All right, there we go. Now we can just go to the top vertice and, uh, you know, just kind of move them out. So they're not all straight up and down. They could be whatever way you want. Cones don't really let you do loop cuts that well. Like, it looks pretty, uh, you know, eh, not exactly great. I'm probably going to leave the middle one. No, I'm not even going to leave the middle one straight. We're going to bring it, like, over this way a little bit. Maybe over, over this way. Something like that, all right? And then this would be some more grass. This middle one actually should be a little bit more straight than that. So just like this, guys. And you could do this with anything you want. I wouldn't recommend using cones if you wanted to add loop cuts and actually, like, bends in the grass. Because if we loop cut, uh, first off, it's hard to find a spot where it lets you loop cut, bro. But it, it, it'll pop up for you if you just... You gotta keep looking, okay? But they suck because they're like this. Boom. Boom. And, uh, you know, it, it's not that great. So... That is how you make low poly grass in Blender. To import it to Roblox, you just want to go right up here to File, Export as an FBX. And then just save it to your computer, name it Grass. And make sure to check this. Oh, oh my gosh, come over to the screen. Ugh. Make sure to check this box right here that says Selected Objects. And then you just want to pop on into Studio. Go to your Asset Manager right here. If you don't see this tab, you can click on View and then the Asset Manager right here. 
and uh, just click on this little upload icon, bulk import. And right here, two grass was the name I picked. Apply all, and it'll pop up right here. Now, uh, this is gonna appear as both of them because I forgot to separate them. I'll show you guys how to do that in case you copied exactly what I did. But uh, yeah, then you're just gonna click on this guy, insert with location, and here is our grass. Oh, I guess I was actually only selecting one of them, so I don't have to separate, nice. All right, so check this out. Then just make it a nice color, boom, bright green, shrink it down, hold shift, there you go. You now have some low poly grass, guys. It's as simple as that. Hopefully this tutorial did help you out. Have a great day. Later.